springtime is here. Hey everyone, I'm Carrie. As you can see, I'm sitting out on my back deck today because it is really nice out. And you can see all of the leaves are back on the trees and they're green and everything is blooming and flowers are starting to grow around and the whole world is just totally coming back to life after kind of the dreary winter months. And it's just so fascinating when you look around and see that the whole earth just instinctively knows that this is the time of the year to start growing and kind of coming back to life and it's just kind of mind-blowing when you see all the things changing and just when you really think about it. So that was making me think about other things that kind of blow my mind or other things that when you really think about are just really weird and so I thought I'd share some mind-blowing thoughts with you this month. You know what's weird? Wallpaper. Who was like, I really want to decorate this room. I feel like I should put paper across all of the walls. That seems like a great interior design decision and I just really think it's gonna bring the room to life. Who thought of that idea? And why did that become like a common thing to do? I do also want to point out I was sober when I thought of all of these ideas. Language, like how did language come to be? How did speaking become the way that we communicate? Okay, obviously, I mean, I'm sitting here talking to you right now and I'm saying words that you are hearing and processing and understanding to mean the sentences and mean the things that I'm saying. But, like, who was the one that, like, created language? Why is it words like this? Why isn't it different noises? Or why isn't it more movements? Or why isn't it singing? Like, what if the first people when they began communicating instead of speaking like we do now what if they sang but then you think about it too and so right now singing is our music so if singing became our common form of speaking then would normal talking be considered music and would that be like what we listen to and like what we would consider an art form crazy okay another thing something that is obviously an everyday occurrence and that we need to live but when you really think about is really weird is eating. I think I understand how people came to eat, you know, fruit and vegetables and nuts and things like that. But I want to know who was the first person that saw an animal and was like, I should eat that thing. And don't get me wrong, like I'm not a vegetarian, but I do still think the concept of eating meat is weird. Okay, so they took this animal and then we're eating it. But then who was the one that was like, I'm going to eat this thing, but first I'm going to put it over flames. What? Where did that idea come from? Another thing that I've been thinking about, especially re with the recent release of pictures um, from NASA, when they focus on a spot, you know, light years away, and now you can see these other galaxies. We think of the Earth as, I mean, we think of the world as a big place, you know. Then when you go outside of the Earth, and you think about, okay, then there's our solar system. But then you think that there's more and more and more beyond that. I mean, like, millions of billions of, like, stars and planets. And just think of how huge the universe is. Hard to imagine something that big. But then I think about the fact that I'm like, okay, so say that there's one other planet on the opposite side of the universe. So it's millions of light years away. So even if we now wanted to send a message to that planet, it would take millions of light years to get there. And then even saying there's some other being on that planet there to receive the message and then try to send another message back to us, it would take another millions of years for it to get back to us. Even if we wanted to send a message out there and wait for something to come back, it is not physically possible for that to happen in our lifetime. That's just like, it just, it's just so crazy and it's just, you think about how big it is. It's so weird. I don't know. Puts things into perspective, I guess. It's just weird. I don't even know. Okay, I have to stop. This is, that's all I can handle right now. My brain 
I need to rest it for a minute. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what are things that blow your mind or what are things that you just think are really weird or just interesting to talk about. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for several more months of whatever this is that I'm doing. Thanks guys. Bye.